Let's go, baby! <laughs> that shit was hard! Oh my god, I'm shaking, dude. Hold up! Wait a minute! What is up, my boys? Welcome back to another build video. If this video and this build doesn't deserve a subscribe, I don't know what to do, guys. I'm going to sell my soul, okay? Subscribe or I'll firestorm your neighborhood, okay? Guys, I present to you the most powerful build in the game. There is nothing that can surpass that build. I'm not talking about numbers, I'm talking about constant DPS, never ending damage and never ending healing. This is the only way, in my opinion, to carry two people even if they are not in the room playing with you. What we just did in this video is not something very easy to do, it is just a demonstration of how freaking powerful this build can be. Guys, I'm telling you, there is nothing, nothing more powerful and more consistent than this build. I'll stop talking for now so you can enjoy this beautiful fight and I will see you at the build breakdown section.
Okay, my boy, so here goes the build. Archon with Havoc form, Summoner with Dominion Weaver, Resonating Heart with 10% elemental damage, 10% mod damage, 15% mod duration. Our first ring is the Burden of the Destroyer, increases all damage dealt by 15%. Our next ring is Shard Bandit Ring, increases our mod damage by 12%. Our third ring is Alumni Ring, increases all elemental damage by 10%. And last but not least, Stone of Malevolence, the bread and butter on Mage Mode builds. I left the amulet at the end for a purpose. Normally with this build you are running Golden Ribbon, so you can have the maximum amount of mod damage in the game. Unfortunately, because of the modifiers of this boss fight having two people the balls are getting tankier the enigma cannot kill them with one clip so i died many times trying this out so i had to use spirit wisp amulet so i can have my havoc form ready every time the balls were coming out the damage is still there but you are missing 25 percent from the golden ribbon and also the haste on our guns we are using firestorm and harmonizer and on our enigma we are using failsafe our traits are fortify kinship vigor spirit siphoner is very important fitness very important for me one of my favorite traits and rugged level 9 so you can have that minion alive for long long time for our armor we are using the standard set of 75 weight fey royal head Leto body armor, Fey royal legs and labyrinth gauntlets. And that's it for this build my boys, I hope you really enjoyed this one. It was a very difficult thing to pull off, but at the end the satisfaction that I had was like nothing else I have felt in this game. Please, 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 please subscribe so you can support me and stay up to date for the next videos. I love you guys, I'll see you on the next one.